Hi everyone, it's Megan here. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I just wanted to film a quick um, February favorites because it is the 1st of March and I just wanted to share with you guys um, some products I've really been loving this past month. Um, so I'm going to start off with this uh, Fake Bake. This is the 5 Minute Mousse Self Tanner. I really enjoyed this. This was really easy to apply. It gave me a really nice natural looking tan. Got a lot of compliments on it. Um, it's one of those you can put it on and after about five minutes you can kind of towel dry off a little bit and then put on your clothes and you can go out the door and you've got your nice little tan. That is a great product. I loved it so much that I decided to branch out into some of the other fake bake products. So the other one that I um, am going to share with you is this fake bake airbrush. Um, this one takes a little bit longer to set than the five minute mousse one does. Um, like it dries really quick to the skin, but it doesn't really fully set for several hours. So like you don't need to get in the shower right after this one. You need to shower beforehand and then wait like six hours or so before you shower again. Um, but this one's really nice. It's real easy to apply. Um, I did get a little bit splotchy the last time I applied it around my neck, but I didn't blend it out like I did the first time I used it. Um, but it was really, really easy to apply. Cleanup was really easy. Just make sure if you do this one, you may want to use, like, get in your shower and spray it. Otherwise, it gets everywhere. But it rinses away really easy. It's a really great product. I love it. Um, I also ordered two other, um, was it two? Two other fake bake products that I haven't tried yet that I can't wait. One is a body butter and one is, like, the original Flawless, um, spray one. So, I haven't tried those yet. I'm looking forward to it. Um, the next product I'm going to share with you is this KL Polish in um, Dust Suspensive 25. This is Kathleen Light's nail polish brand that she created. And it's this gorgeous like champagne, um, silver gold glitter. Um, I just painted this nail just to show you. That's just two coats. Ignore where I scratched it off. But it's very opaque. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the best glitter polish I have ever used and I'm so excited I'm so proud of her I think her line is great and um, it was beautiful so I'm really happy that I got that um, the next thing I'm going to share with you is some foundations that I recently tried that I've really been liking um, I only just started tanning in the last month or so um, with the fake bake so before that I was very 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 fair like lightest or second lightest shade in just about any foundation probably would have suited me just fine um, but now that I've got the tan thing going on, I needed some new foundations. So I went to get some drugstore ones just because they were more affordable, especially because I didn't really know what color, and it was the opportunity to try new stuff. So I um, got some stuff from Maybelline. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundations here. And this is the shade um, 315 Soft Honey, and this is 330 um, Toffee. Uh, depending on how recently I just tanned, depends on which one I use or if I use both of them. Um, most days, like a couple days after I tan, this one fits like, perfectly. Um, but if it's the first day or two after, I mix with this one. So those are great. I also have used um, the Maybelline Dream Velvet foundations. And I have mine in the shade um, 75 and 92. 75 is natural beige. This one has a slight gray undertone, which isn't like super crazy noticeable, but I've noticed that like when I rub it on my hand and I use it to apply that after a while, like right here, it's really gray, but it doesn't look like weird on the face. It looks really nice. Um, sometimes I mix these two. I can never wear this one by itself because it's so dark. I really got it just to mix with this one to darken it up depending on, again, that how, um, how long it's been since I, um, since I tanned. So these are great. They're um, very hydrating. really like them. It's a soft matte finish. I would agree with that. It's probably a medium coverage foundation. These are very nice. Um, and then, of course, um, I didn't have any concealers that matched, so I had to get some new concealers. So I tried again Maybelline um, the Fit Me Concealers, and these are um, 25, which is medium, and then 35, which is deep. I think there was one in between them, but I, wherever I was, they were sold out of it. So I just got these two. Um, I mix them, to, again, depending on skin tone, but they're both very nice products there. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about this bronzer that I've been loving lately, and this is the Lorac 
tantalizer baked bronzer in the shade matte tan and it's so nice it's very soft I love that I can use this wet or dry um, it probably won't show up on my hand very well because they're similar tones but it's definitely noticeable on the face like when you have your foundation on I've actually used this um, wet on top of a lighter foundation to darken it up and it looked really nice um, I'm gonna talk about this next blush and this is a blush by The Balm. It is The Balm Beach Blush. And it's this really pretty, very good everyday kind of shade. Um, I'll try to swatch it for you. Last time I tried it, it wouldn't show up very well. It looks, there it goes. It's kind of light, um, but it's definitely a good everyday. It's good for lighter skin tones for sure because whenever I wasn't tanning yet, um, this was a great, great blush. It's still very nice. I just have to be careful not to put too much because it would lighten up too much. But um, And then the last thing I have to talk to you guys about is the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. I have been loving this recently. I ordered it um, the end of December. It didn't come into like mid-January. It took a while to get here. Um, but it's so pretty. Before I started doing the tan, I could really only wear this shade right here. And it's this really pretty, like, light gold, like a champagne color. And then the middle color here is a pink toned highlight, but it's got that silver kind of reflex back. It's really pretty as well, depending on what look. But the one I've been wearing most recently is this um, darker one right here. And it is like a true gold. And I'm just going to do it on the other side of this. Right there. And that's the one I've been wearing pretty consistently. It definitely gives a glowing to the gods kind of beam. It is beautiful. I am so excited that I have it. I was kind of nervous when I first got it. Because like I said, that first shade was the only one that worked when I first got it. But now that I have been um, tanning, um, it's definitely much more wearable with all the other shades. So I'm very excited. I'm going to get some very good use out of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to um, see any comments you guys have. If you like any of these products, if you have any products that you've been loving for the month of February, please share it down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.